Laser light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. As is known, a laser is an optical quantum generator that converts pump energy into the energy of a coherent, monochromatic, polarized and narrowly directed radiation flux. The U.S. Air Force Research Lab has begun building a pod-mounted laser weapon designed to keep friendly aircraft safe from enemy missiles. The Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, she instruction at Kirtland Air Force Base. In simple terms, protons excited by an electric current emit energy in the form of light. The laser beam hits the target surface and heats the material in a spot. Due to the release of heat, the material in the contact area is destroyed or completely evaporates. The U.S. has been working on laser just now having weapons that actually work and can shoot down drones. An important element of the laser is the beam focusing system. The smaller the spot area on the target, the higher the specific power that can damage the object. When shooting at long range, the guidance system must compensate for atmospheric distortion. For this, which help the main laser to hit the target at speed is that the laser beam travels so fast that it would reach the target instantly before it left its point of origin. Still too slow to outrun photons traveling at light speed, which is about 44,000 times faster than Mach 20. Laser tech is the only reliable source for missile defense, especially those which don't follow a ballistic trajectory. I think this tech is the most necessary thing ever. Specifically space-based lasers to reduce interference of air and since most dangerous missiles travel above or on the edge of the atmosphere. Its purely diffuse designs of lasers make it possible to obtain, at the output, radiation of different wavelengths, from soft X-rays to infrared radiation. With regard to military applications, this means the ability to choose a laser.